Hello guys, Wuhu here, back with another video. This time around, an update to the XP gaining leveling in Trove. So you might be wondering, Wuhu, you had such an amazing XP uh, guide. Why are you making a new one? So first of all, thank you so much for those kind words uh, that I just made up myself. But uh, thank you again for all the positive on those ones. Uh, that is gone now because there was something significant that happened with the Paragon level update. And that is that PVP or Bomber Royale is there's no gaining experience in that at all anymore. So that was one of the big features of that XP guide that is now gone. So I had to make a completely new one. And I also think I could do a little bit of a better job. I hope so with this one, but that is the significant. And then anything is basically the same. So if you watched the previous one, nothing has really changed, but I am going to do an update and maybe hopefully a better job on this one. So let's get into it. All right, so first I wanna talk about like the different ways you are gonna boost your experience gain. And the first one is the Patreon. So Patreon, if we go to our shop, you can see right down here, you are gonna gain 50% extra experience when you uh, have Patreon uh, going on. So you can check that always, you know, my face is going to be on the way, but on the stats in the bottom, you are going to find uh, experience uh, if you, hover down here you can't see it from my big face here but you can see experience gained it's going to look there it's going to be a bonus and stuff like that i'm going to get more into that later on but the 50 percent experience is uh, gained if you have patron going on so that's the first one to boost that experience next up we got clubs and there is clubs there is sometimes you well sometimes <laughs> basically it's up to the club itself i'm just going to take uh, using club who right now many clubs are using the same fixtures as this the font of knowledge uh but this is not something's going on all the time but we do have it on all the time and if you want to join this club and gain these 30 percent extra experience all the time as long as you have set this as your primary and this primary can be changed whenever you want don't previously it was 20 every 24 hours they've changed it so you can you can basically move back and forwards whenever you want like instantly so there's no cooldown on it uh Again, the font of knowledge is super amazing. Like I said, 30% extra experience when you have this as your primary. So if you're grinding something else and, and stuff like that, you can get that. But getting back to how are you going to join, for example, our club, we are on PC. So if you play on PC, you can join us. Unfortunately, there's no cross platform uh, as of yet. I'll make a new guide. I even think I will make a new guide if they were ever gonna be cross platform. That's how little chance there is of getting cross platforms. So on PC, all you have to do is go to the description of this video, go down to the Discord and ask in the Discord, in the general chat, if somebody can invite you because we have it. So if you go under permissions and uh, find it down here, invites, you can see it's checked for every single person. So if you already are, if you're watching this and you're already part of this club and you want your friends to get in on the 30% extra experience because this is not going to change, we're gonna keep this because we are a leveling club. And then if you, you know, get into uh, more in-game and stuff like that. You probably want to get into Alpha Legacy, Lazaria, Edge of Abyss, or the you know uh, the North or something like that. More clubs. There are so many other clubs that you can also join that in-game. Ours is a starting leveling club, and there's no requirement for you to join. So you can just go ahead and join, but you do have to, you know, ask somebody because you have to be online. I, the person that invites you has to be online. It's not like just, you know, like, you know, your friend list where you can just add people and then whenever they get online, they can add it. So that's why you need people like that to be asked. Or other than that, I could just, you know, send invites to anybody that was, you know, around basically, right? So people do have to be online, but any person can invite. So if you want to join, just go ahead and ask on the Discord. Also, the Discord is a pretty nice place to get updated on Trove and other things and get contact with me and stuff like that. So there's many benefits for Discord that we do have besides getting invited to the club. So like I said, with the club, 30% extra experience whenever you have it on. So when you're rocking this, this is pretty cool, actually, you know. 
And also there's a two and a half percent chance of getting a boost of 300% for completing like a dungeon or something like that. So when you complete the dungeon, sometimes there's like, like I said, two and a half percent chance that it will be gaining 300% of the normal experience you would have gotten other than that. So there's a little big boost of that, but it's nothing reliable. But so the 30% is always on. So that was clubs. Let's move on to a, another XP boost. All right, so the next XP boost I want to talk about is XP day. So XP day is always on Sunday, so, sorry, Saturdays, of course, not Sundays. Sunday's loot day, but Saturdays, if we go right here, you know, you can get adventure experience. That means that when you complete dungeons and stuff like that, that is the adventure experience. Then you got club experience. That's of course for the club, if you're doing club quests and then, and then there's also arena win experience. I don't know why this is still in. I think this is a bug because uh, you're not supposed to get experience from PvP anymore. So I think they just forgot to update it. I'll, I'll tweet them actually at them. Uh, I thought it was going to be fixed on the PTS server, but it wasn't. So I'm going to tweet at them uh, as I, you know, here and maybe it'll be updated. But yes, as you can see, 50% uh, more experience on Saturdays when you have that uh, going on. And you can also see down here the patron if you have 100%. And that's on top of the 50% that you also have. So 50% is just you know, standard. But then on Saturdays, you will get 150% if you have patrons. So all the other days, like I told you about before, you have 50. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday, you'll have 50%. But on Fridays, if you have patron all these days, you'll have 150% gained experience for that. Also, uh, the clubs will be 100% and then arena wins will also be uh, that. And I again, I think it would I would have been 150% for the arenas as well. But again, I think that it, it should be removed because it's confusing because you don't get experience in PvP anymore. So just wanted to mention, you know, the Saturdays uh, because Saturdays are just gaining those <laughs> amazing experience and just going crazy out there, right? So that was another boost. Let's get on to any, an even more boost. All right, for so for this one, I am gonna remove my pretty face as somebody just opens a ganda. So GG to too danger for opening a ganda right in my video. But yes, I'm moving my face because we have something that is going on. And if you go to the welcome menu, you can see right now we got Turkotobia going on, but uh, there is also a week called XP week where you gain 100% experience this whole week and it stacks with everything. So it's just something going on. Right now we have a second stat reroll and then last week it was actually, you know, XP week. So it's, it's four weeks in between. So next week we are going to have either uh, faster invasions and then we are going to have something that I can't remember off the top of my head and then it'll be XP week again. So it's like three weeks in between that we have these XP week and you can see it, like I said, that's why I mentioned it, you can see it here. But if you like right now, you can see there's Turgotobia that's gonna be in that slot where you're gonna see it. You can go to your stats and you can go down here, XP gained. So base is uh, 200 and then you get the bonus. So it would say bonus. Uh, right now I have the XP shrine or XP building from our uh, from a club, but if it was experience week, it would say 130% because of course it's Tuesday. Uh, it would be more if it was Saturday, then would be a top of that. But you can always on Monday see if you can't see right here. Oh, I don't know what it is. Then you can go to this and hover this, and if it says uh, either 100% bonus or 130%, then it's XP week. And sometimes, of course, you can just uh, be lucky and actually see it here that there's not event going on at the moment. But yeah, you can check it up if it's XP week or not. Or you maybe ask on the Discord if you want to do so. Uh, it, that's also a chance that I know or somebody else knows that's seen it before or knows the rotation and stuff like that. So I just wanted to move this and show this. I talked about it earlier that I wanted to show you guys this. But I'm going to put back on my face and we can move on to the last boost uh, XP boosting you can do. All right, so the last XP boosting you can do is, uh, you guessed it, oh, I shouldn't have put it, I probably should put it down here because it's just down here. Uh, it's XP, double XP potions, and I'm putting this as last because it stacks on everything. This is just a percentage, the other one's flat, you know, and this just boosts everything double up. So you can, as a gain, if you have all the other things, 560% bonus experience if you have uh, you know, all the 
I guess the stars align. XP week, you have patron, you have Saturday, you have the double XP potion, you have the shrine and so on and so on. Everything basically stacks on top of each other. And you might be wondering, oh, do I have to pay money for these? No, not necessarily. You can buy them from the shop. That's why I'm showing them right here. But if there's an event going on, as there is right now, Turgotobia, and I say this every time in my guide videos. So if you don't play Troll very, Troll very often, you can follow the channel, the YouTube channel, and see whenever there's an event going on. Just keep in your mind that Saturdays there is, uh, I can't show you right now, but there's a, like a little daily uh, challenge thing that you just have to complete one dungeon. Doesn't matter which dungeon it is, you just have to complete one dungeon and you get your doubles XP potions. So during two weeks event, you can get two potions of these. And if I go right ahead to my own personal stash, you can see I have never bought any of these XP potions. All right, guys, I do have to pause the video real quick. I'm sorry, but I forgot to tell you under these double XP potions that you can actually get them in the hub as well for kind of for free. But let me let me just show you where you can actually also get them. So this is uh, something to do with Luxion and Dark Luxion or Corruption, Corruption, whatever his name is. So down here below, you can see this is where the hub is. You go down here. On top here, usually Luxion stands right here, but there is Dark Luxion, as I call him. He is here every 14 days, so you can keep an eye out for the Discord and you can look there. And I post it every single Friday if it's either one inventory of normal Luxion or Dark Luxion. And Dark Luxion never changes its inventory, it's always going to be this. And as you can see, there's a limited amount of what you can buy. So you can go ahead and buy yourself 10 XP potion, double XP potions every 14 days for three of the crystal uh crystal cores i was about to say that chaos cores and of course chaos cores comes from you know opening chaos chests and stuff like that and if you are a newer player uh you, you maybe want to use these to craft some of the but later on as i don't really have much to use these anymore on then uh, something like this would be uh, you know advantageous for me so the same thing maybe with the luxurious boxes and stuff like that maybe some bound brilliance would be and this is of course the chaos dragon as i've talked about many times but yeah double xp potions can also uh, be right here so just had to mention that because they're kind of free because if you have abundance of these, then might as well get the double XP potion and also Paragon levels. They are kind of, you know, in game as these potions also would be a while obtaining. So just had to mention that and uh, thank you. Let's move in uh, back to the video. But you can, you can see I have 75 of them because I keep doing events. I've just done like at least one dungeon on a Saturday and then just getting myself an experience. If you have some of these coin uh, class coins and stuff like this, these also loot into those. Uh, it, I don't know if it's uh, going to keep that forever, so keep that in mind if you have some lying around, some old ones, that it might not loot in, uh, look like into that. But the events are something we've had for a very, very long time, and they keep having, you know, these Saturdays where you are going to gain this uh, double XP potion. So with that said, that's all the ways you can boost your, uh, basically your ex uh, experience. And I'm just going to do a little short uh, rundown of him. So first of all, patron. Then we have the club, you know, the clubs, you know, experience. Then we have the experience day. Saturdays is the experience day. Then we have experience, experience week, experience week. And then we, of course, lastly have the double XP potions. And I, like I said, I take them last because it doubles everything that you have. So, you know, getting all those flat is amazing and then double everything else. And you could get 560% extra experience so with that said we are now going to into kind of what method should you use to grind that experience with all right so methods so method you want to do for grinding experience so first of all shadow towers if you are a, a quite an older player shadow powers uh, shadow powers shadow towers do not give experience anymore it's not a valued uh, way of getting experience anymore so if you're coming back from the uh, to the game and you don't know about shadow towers that is not where you're gonna gain it. Also PVP, just recapping on that, XP, XP from PVP do not give you anything at all. So don't do PVP for that. So well, let's talk about where are you gonna get experience? Well, they wanted to, you know, to remove it from you know, PVP so people wouldn't just do PVP, but they want people to do dungeons. So dungeons is the best, absolutely the best way of gaining experience. There used to also be a method where you can do some quests and you can craft some things, you know, in the Neon City biome and stuff like that. They have also changed that so you can't do those repeatable quests. You could do it once 
uh, each of these quests and they do give a little bit of experience but doing a a uh, dungeon is going to give you, uh, I did a uh, 10 star, I was about to say, a U10 dungeon and I almost gained the same experience for just doing one, one star dungeon and it took me like 5 seconds to do it and the other one took me like 15 minutes to find just that one quest and it could even take you longer to find those quests. So if you're coming back to the game and it used to be a very nice way to gain experience, that is not really something you would use anymore. So grinding dungeons or grinding delves is also a pretty good method to do. But delves is a little bit more advantageous if you are in a group. So if you're in a group with friends, it's much better to do delves because you can go through them pretty quick and that will give you more experience. But it wouldn't give you more experience because you're more people together. That doesn't how work. Like if you're in a group of eight people, it's not going to boost you because you are in a group play or anything like that. I wish it would, but it, it doesn't. So but you will get through the dungeons quicker. And you can do the same thing with just grinding dungeons. If you're a couple of friends, just keep doing dungeons. That will also be amazing to do. So the absolutely the best method and the, the thing I recommend you doing, just go ahead and grind dungeons, grind dungeons, grind dungeons with all the boosts that we talked about before. So there's no uh, secret sauce or any secret method. It's just grinding dungeons on those like specific days with do those boosts and so on and so on. So, yeah, to recap, dungeons, 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 boost, 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 that's all it's about. So, I don't want to make this guide any longer. If you liked it, I hope you guys are going to comment down below what you liked about it and how you are progressing with your Paragon levels or your characters. And again, if you liked the video, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Maybe subscribe, helps me out super much and it's amazingly amazingly appreciated so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye